we've got to uh, the shark bay turn off and um, I don't know if you can see there's flies everywhere already which is great but um, here we are and touch wood we'll be going up to Steep Point Steep Point we're going to attempt to get the car and trailer in there see how we go I reckon we got it but um, yeah can't wait so we're at the turn off now we just fueled up about a hundred bucks worth and um, yeah, we'll get in there so we've come in the shark bay turn off and we've gone to see the stromatolites which are the first sort of stop on your way in here and unfortunately they've been closed off by the ranger which is a bit of a pain but it's a nice little walk out there to check them out but um yeah so that's closed and we've just come up to shell beach now to check out shell beach which is just pretty windy and i think we're going to check it out again anyway on the way back out of shark bay but um yeah tonight's going to be an easy night we're just sort of going to camp on the side of the road somewhere a little free camp somewhere and then tomorrow is going to be the big day where we're sort of power into uh, steep point which we're booked in from tomorrow for three nights so we'll um yeah quiet little night tonight and uh heading in tomorrow so that was our little camp for last night which is just here in the telstra sort of bay just off the road a bit but there's our view you would have seen it from the, uh, the drone shot just before, but nice little camp. It's not marked at all on the road, but it's just, yeah, near the big Telstra tower here, so we get plenty of signal. And um, there's only one other bloke that called in last night, and he was pretty quiet, so good little spot. So we're at the turn off to Dirk Hardog and uh, Steve Point, and um, everything's going good. I mean, we've got two way radio, PLB, plenty of food and water. Um, all the gear and no idea, I guess. A little bit of an idea, so we should be good. But um, yeah, I'm just going to get a couple of photos here and then head on in. First little bit up there is, I don't know if you can see it up there, but first little bit sealed. And then it all turns to, uh, you know what, the further you get in. But we'll try and strap the GoPro to the side of the caravan or the car or something. Even the suspension. Show a bit of a work out there. But if we film something cool, so just let the tyres down, down to 20 psi all round, just because the gravel's coming up there. A couple of blokes up ahead there doing it as well, but um, just whack the storms on them for a minute and then finish them off with the little tyre gauge to check them out. Bang on, 20 psi pretty much, about 45 seconds. <laughs> but I'm not too sure how far it is, but check out the view. Incredible that way. What do you reckon? Yeah. And then, pretty good that, sorry about the wind again, yeah. But, um, just gonna check over everything on the car, make sure everything's still there. Wheel bearings aren't hot. It's already getting nice and dusty. Cool as a cucumber. We'll check out the roof, but yeah, everything's covered in a nice thin film of white dust, so is what it is, I guess. But um, beautiful little spot. We'll keep cracking these corrugations, though. Can't really show you here. We'll find somewhere nice and show you the corrugations, but they're a bit hectic. But just slow down, take it easy over them, you get through them. We'll find a little. <laughs>
check out the size of those corrugations. They're just out of control. But um, it's been keeping the speed right down and everything seems to be alright. Everything's still on there, just I reckon we're gonna have a load of dust in there. But I think that's um, someone else's problem tonight. Oh, your dirty hands on my top. Where? So we made it all the way up here and um, no problems, well, apart from one actually, we did get uh, the automatic transmission overheated a little bit but luckily we pulled up, had a little bit of signal and read somewhere to just leave it in manual, click through the gears and hold the gears which seemed to have worked, no problems after that but yeah we're here. Sorry for the wind again. We'll have to go uh, find our camp and get set up. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Another little bit of damage. Oh well. That's another someone's problem. That's our setup. And um, just saw some turtles and fish jumping just out here, which was pretty awesome. Like straight away, but anyway, 15 minutes, 20 minutes to set up. And yeah, great little spot. But, um, check out some other damage that we found here. We lost a little side light, unfortunately. Only got the one there and just scratches everywhere. But other than that, really impressed with this today. It's done a great little job. So I think we're cooking some burgers up tonight on the Weber. Touch wood if I get some time. I'll try and go have a little squid jig around because there is sort of remnants of squid there. But um, we'll see what we get. If we get something, we'll try and film something. Oh, and also the spot that we've pulled up at is Kels 1, which is, by the looks of it, there is another camp just up the end there. But I think this one's the second sort of eastern camp, which is real protected. It's got this little island here that I've heard rumors that they've caught some decent fish off. <clears throat> so if we see if we can just um, get over there and have a fish. So it's the next day and um well, it's going to be windy all day today, so I don't really know what we're going to achieve. 
if there's going to be much fishing or if we're just going to have a look around and um, check everything out and then tomorrow when the wind dies off do a bit of fishing we'll see how we go see what the ball and chain says but we're standing out here on the little well there's that little island I was showing you just out in front of camp there sorry about the wind again there we are just over there but um it seems pretty rough and pretty pretty weird around here like I reckon you get a fish around there in between these two little rock like the little channel there but um I don't know much about fishing I'm gonna give it a crack someday but if you check out down here I don't know if you can see that loads of little fish not sure what that means but there's also a little rod holder over here so I reckon I can just stand there use the little rod holder have a fish chuck a bit of bait out hopefully don't get a snag and see what we get Ink out, mate. Get rid of it all. Oh, look at the mess he's made. You beauty. Check that out. I'm over the moon with that. to the car park of the steep point sign is nature's window any good it's pretty hard to find but it's just left to the steep point sign and it's uh, pretty out there pretty out of control stoked with the footage on it as well but now we're just gonna have a little like a beach fish rock fish just off here see what we can't get <laughs>
Falsch. Ah. Falsch. Look, he's eating a hook. The garfish, I think. Yeah. Can um look at the chompers on it though. Can you there's pliers in that box, can you grab? second night now out of steep point and um bloody beautiful day just a shame about the wind but um can't complain done some fishing caught a jar fish caught a squid heap of hookups but just not enough skill i guess but um no, beautiful night we're gonna end it by cooking up that squid nice salt and pepper squid and a uh, nice couple of drinks and that's going to be us for the night. Tomorrow it's going to be a lot nicer, the weather. So we're going to um, touch wood, do a bit of fishing. Touch wood, catch a bit more. And I uh, wouldn't mind a couple more squid, chuck them in the freezer. Just because uh, I don't mind squid. It's a nice little, it's a nice little food. So, here we go. Fresh squid for dinner. Bit of salt and pepper and then we'll chuck it straight on the Weber. Mmm, tentacles there. I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully it'll be all right. Mm -hmm.